Good morning, and we are live. Let's see me. Hey guys, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. Um, there's 98 of you waiting before the video started. Thanks, we had fun in chat. Uh, Jennifer made coffee and hot chocolate for me, thank you. Um, Thank you, Joan. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Angela. Thanks for the moderators, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jamie, Leonard, and Angela, and anyone else who pops in who are moderators. I think Michael, he was here earlier. Oh, and Sue, thank you guys for coming. For those of you who don't know, I do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. I do it live. It's always available later. I also have... I think like 28 more videos that I've done for the past 28 weeks. They're in a card up in the top. Not that way, that way. Up in the top, you see the little eye, you can click that. I'm not sure if that's able to do that in the live video, but once you're watching the replay, you can click that and see all those other videos. They're all like almost an hour long, so um, maybe watch one a day if you're new. And if you watch those, you will sure to, um, learn tons of things in design space. And I was just on my group Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, and I was just answering a question real fast. I said, just do it, don't fear it. And somebody mentioned how they were afraid to, that they're gonna break the maker and they're afraid to waste paper. And so they're like, they're, they're so scared of it. Don't be scared. You don't need to cut anything. You don't need to touch your maker. If you learn design space first, then you can do anything. I'm telling you, you can create anything. If you just learn design space, don't touch your machine. You don't need to touch your machine until you know the ins and outs of design space. Play in design space, push buttons, go grab some images, Ungroup them, group them, attach them, flatten them, see what happens. Click the make it button and go see what happens on the mats. Why did that do that? Why isn't my writing on my card? I grouped them, why isn't it there? Then you gotta go back, hit cancel. You don't have to cut it. Hit cancel and go see why. And thank you everyone <laughs> for all the chat. Thank you, Jennifer, for saying my hair looks great. It doesn't look great. <laughs> it, actually, the style came out okay. I didn't put any spray in it. I am going to get it colored today. It's going to be more pink and purple. It's going to be even brighter. Um, so I'm doing that later today. And if you have questions you want me to see, put them all in caps so I can find them. There's always a lot of chat going on. It's not all for me. But if you have questions on design space and what I'm doing, or you want me to answer another question, please put them in caps so I can go back and see them. Um, and in the chat this morning, I told everyone to repeat after me, for those of you watching this video on the replay, repeat after me, today is gonna be a fabulous day. I want you all to be happy. I want you all to have great days. Life is so much better when you're having a great day. And you can choose to have a great day. And it's not what happens to you, it's how you react to it. Okay, I'm done with all that. Let's, we're here to draw, right? All right, let's go to design space. Oh, but first, this is for Sheila. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Okay, here we are in design space. Do you still use old machines when new ones come out? I use my Explore machines. Not like the old, old ones. Okay, so we see here these images. These are images from Design Space. I'm gonna click on here. If you wanna find out how, oh wait, not the letters. Here's the actual, this was, this is one image and they were not in separate layers like you see here. So we're just gonna click here, click on the little right button. And under here, you see, and I'm sorry, it's hard to see my mouse. 
I can't change it. I have a Mac. If anyone knows how I can change that, then do that. I don't know if Sheila's here, but she'll watch later. Uh, we're going to click this little button, and it tells me what image this is. I can view the cartridge, or I can view the image. So I'm going to click on this, click the little green part, and it will take you to that image. So this is what the image looks like. So I'm going to bring this in and show it to you. Okay. So now see in the layers panel, this has two layers. This has a back layer and the front layer. So I can't just have it like that. And this one, I made this pink layer white. So now to change it, I'm going to hide this one for now. To change this to right, all you do is click the scissors and click right. Now, this one I did in two colors. This one is not in two colors. The new one is not in two colors. Yes, that was for Sheila Rogers number one. There's, a, there's two Sheila Rogers. And... How I got this in two colors, I used contour. So contour is at the bottom of the layers panel. Can you guys hear me okay? And I'm gonna contour them out, but first. Oh, you know what? I have always duplicated this first and then contoured it. I'm gonna do something different today. Just, just thought of this just now. I'm going to contour it. I want these up here to do to be separate. So I'm going to click on those. Okay. So now I have this. It's like over here. It's if I would have gotten rid of that. But see, this is just all in one image. So I'm going to duplicate it now that I've already contoured it. I think this will work. And then we're going to contour the new one. And we're going to hide all contours. And then just have these show. Now we have that. But they're still black. You can change the color of any writing And when you put it, when you go to Design Space, Design Space will tell you which pen to put in. So that's how you can do that in different colors. Um, okay, let me go back and get your questions. Okay, Creative Touches has a hard time with the pens. They usually look like a big blob. Smud smudge is so bad. Here's the answer. Use a fine tip. Um, there's different reasons to use the medium tips and to use the fine tips. If you're doing, um, like maybe for this word Alex, I would maybe use the medium tip because the letters are bigger. But for this, if I were to use a medium tip on this red writing, it would just be all smudged and blobbed, which actually it might look okay on this kind of image. But um if you used a fine tip pen, you would see all these lines separately. If you're doing smaller writing, you need um, the fine tip. If you're doing bigger writing, you need the medium tip. Okay, Chopmaster says, when I draw an average image, there's usually two lines around it when you draw. That depends on the image. Um, 
if it's an um if it's an outline of an image like Okay, let's say like this. Let's bring this one in. Um, change it to right. Because it turns the cut line into a right line. Is that what you mean? Or when you want to add text. If I were just to change this to right, it's going to do that instead of a single line drawing. If I want text in a single line drawing, I have to change this to a writing style. And um, so it, it, because I changed the style, it changed it to single line. But you can filter over here to only show writing style fonts. And then you can choose a font with writing style. Okay, um, Tina says she really needs to learn about contour. I just showed it and I'll show it some more. Oh, Dawn, that is a great question. After I made the teal and purple, do you flatten or weld or not? I'm going to answer that question in a minute. Uh, Fatima, when you have it, two colors of the pens like this, or like this cake one has many colors, Design Space or the Cricut will pause and Design Space will tell you what pen to put in next. And then you put that color in. And then it'll pause again and tell you which color to put in. So it's, it's no thinking on your part. You just have to know your colors. Um, I have a question I was going to answer. Oh, so let's go to, I'm going to click make it. This is something a lot of people don't do. They're afraid to click make it. Like they're going to have to finish it and do all that. No, you have to click make it to learn. So you learn what happens. Okay, that's a mess. That is not what I want. Look at the cake. The cake is in all different layers. We don't want this to write over here in the mat and then over here and over here. Do you see that? And we don't want this heart to be separately. Can anyone answer in the chat what I'm supposed to do? I know you guys know. Here's this one because I did it correctly on this one. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, can somebody answer the question, is Contour available on iPhone? I haven't used my phone app enough to know that answer. I don't remember. Do you cut these images out? Yes, I will show you that. Yes, the answer is attach. So do you see how these are all a mess? I'm going to hit cancel to go back. Okay, so this one is attached. You can see over here it's attached. It was also grouped. It really doesn't matter if they're grouped or not. Group makes no difference at all. This one, it is grouped. Well, actually, it's not. it doesn't say grouped because it just came in that way. I never ungrouped it. But you can tell it's grouped because up here it says ungroup. So you have the option to ungroup up here. But what we need to do is attach. So all we have to do is select it. Make sure you have this border around it to know it's selected. Look in the layers panel. All of those layers are selected because they're in gray. And we're going to click attach at the bottom of the layers panel. Now when we go to make it, the cake is set up just like that. 
and you have to hit cancel. Where's the cancel button? Huh. There it is. I'm <laughs> like, it went lower. Okay. There we go. Are there any questions on that? So let's attach this. Um, okay, this back piece is hiding. Let me first show you. We can't see the purple on this. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change it. Uh, I'm gonna change it to white, but we're gonna bring it down a little bit. So okay, just so you guys can see it. Attach isn't better than group. Attach is different than group. You do not always want them to attach. And let me show you in a few minutes why not to attach. Don't always attach. It's not better. It's different. Um, so these are in two layers. These are grouped together. You can tell because this says ungrouped. This is the backing. So this gray piece will cut and this will not write on that let's hit make it see what happens to find the images you click the image oh which button did you push in front okay i'll show you that um see these are writing here but it's going to cut out here that's not what we want so we have this layer here. We have this one. I'm going to click Arrange up at the top. Click Arrange, and I can move it to the front. So then I can move this right on here where I want it. If I'm not sure or I can't get it perfectly flat, then I'm going to Center. So I'm going to click Align. I will get to Weld and Attach and I'm gonna center just to make sure it's perfectly on there and then I'm going to attach it. So now this will write on that cut. This one is writing on the cut. Thank you, Sue, for the super chat. See, this piece is a cut piece. I'm just making it color so you can see it. So this will cut around. This cake is not on anything, so it's not gonna cut on anything. Uh, it does have a piece I can cut on. I could do that. I would make that white. So then it will write on here and it will cut around the outside edge. So let's click make it and let's see. I've gone to system preferences and changed my mouse. I don't have an option to change the picture on my mouse or anything. So here we have these. We have the cake. It's going to cut out the cake and write on the cake. And it will pause, tell us which color to put in. Oh, and these are on different mats because they're different colors. So this is telling me to put that gray color on the mat. And then it will write and cut out of that. And the same with this. Do you see the difference? Um, let me show you attach and weld really fast. I know a lot of people are confused with it. I'm going to change the color of one of these. Okay. And this may be what's confusing, okay? I got those two images, let's weld them. Okay, they're welded. Let's click make it, see what happens. Doesn't look any different. Okay, I'm gonna undo. Okay, they're back. Okay, now I'm gonna select them both and attach them. Huh, looks the same. Let's hit make it looks the same. 
I can see why you're confused, but let's undo so it's no longer attached. Here's the difference. Put this on top of that, select it, attach it, it changes it to the same color because they're attached, they're gonna cut out on the same mat. That's why it does that. This is going to cut through this and it's gonna cut around here. Let me show you what it will do. Let's, det whoops, I didn't mean to, oh my gosh, duplicating. Okay, let's select it, detach, so it's not detached anymore. Okay, I'm gonna click slice, but I'm only clicking slice to show you how it will actually cut. It's going to cut like this. It's, if, you, if they're attached, this, you're gonna see these cut lines. You're gonna have this piece in the middle. Not that one. So your pieces will look like this if you attach them and cut them. And let's undo. Okay, so now if we, well, let me change this color just to, now, if we select them both and weld them, makes them the same color. Can you guys see this very well? But there's no cut line. It changed it to one image. Now that you've seen that, you go try it in Design Space, and you should have no more problems with weld or attach. That's it. I showed you how it works. Yeah, you can change. Well, you can change a cutting font into print only. It will cut around the edge unless you flatten it onto something. I can show you that too. Let me go through. And I know there were some questions that I missed. So let me. Okay. Now, if you did not understand attach and weld before, if you didn't know the difference and you know it now, type got it in the comments. I do have videos on assembling flowers. Search Melody Lane Large Flowers on YouTube. I have a playlist of four videos. Penny is asking, how do you just select those two? Um, they're gone now. I don't know where they went. Did I delete those? <laughs> okay, watch my mouse. Oh, there, if I shake it. Yeah, you guys are right. I knew that. I just forgot. Okay, so I'm going to see the blue. I'm going to drag this. All I have to do is touch it, and it selects it. If I wanted to select the cake and the circle... I just touch them both and they're selected. You know they're selected because of the box and the um, layers panel. The colors didn't change on the heart when I attached them because they're writing. Writing is different than cut. Okay, let me... The, my chat keeps popping up like further okay no if you attach to writing it does not become the same color I do have a video on cutting larger than the mat I think I have two videos one was live and one is on the iPad I can't focus the camera, it's my screen. 
There's no camera. Maybe it's your internet connection. Is there a way to cut out script all in one piece, not separate letters? Yes, you weld, you move them to touch and weld them. If your screen is blurry, then um, keep watching and maybe watch the replay if there's something you can't see because maybe it won't be blurry on the replay. Yeah, ask questions all in caps. Okay. Um, okay, we had more questions on the writing. I do want to answer more questions on writing. So if you have those questions, ask those. And I will answer more questions later too. So here's writing. Somebody asked, I'm just going to scoot these closer. It really bugs me. Um, how do you get, oh, I'm trying to think of that question. Oh, how to get the info on the image. Just click the image. Click either the scissors or the right or the score, or whatever you have chosen. And then right here, let me shake my, right here. Click that. You probably can't read it. Like this line is so little. I don't know why it's so tiny. But click the little arrow and it says banner heart. And then if I click that, it'll take it. If I click view image, it takes me, or view cartridge, it takes me there. Aren't these pretty? I get so distracted. I love these. This is love struck. Now I'm going to go back by clicking image over here. Okay, um, no, I'm not drawing from scratch. I'm showing you how to make the Cricut draw. How do you know if an image will draw and cut? Okay. Let's get rid of that. This one, let's, let me go show you what this image is. Let's bring it in fresh. This is the image as it, I brought it in. So this is just a cut image. Nothing on here will write. Um, now I'm, I forgot the question. Oh, how will it cut and write? What I did is I just changed all these to write. I didn't ungroup it. I didn't do anything. They're all going to write in black. And then this is the bottom layer. I'll change this to white. Let me change the canvas. We'll just change the canvas to blue so we can see. So all of these are chosen to write in black and then you can pick the color you want. I don't know what I'm choosing. I'm just choosing colors. And this one had cut lines in the base so you would know where to put the pieces. Let me show you what I did to this one. I had to ungroup it and then I selected which one did I select? What, which one has the, oh, it's probably this back one. I separated them. It's this. Oh, it's this piece that has it. All the cut lines. So you see all these cut lines, those are all going to cut out and they're really not necessary. And so I hit contour. And I hid all contours and then just X'd out. So then it was just the shape of this. And then I just placed everything back where I wanted it. Actually, you don't even need that piece. Um, 
and this will cut out because I have the bottom piece cut. It will not cut. Thank you, Joyce. That's awesome. It will not cut if I hide that layer, but I, because I have a hide or cut layer. Is there something you want me to show you another image? Now this won't cut together unless we attach it, right? So we can just go down there, click attach, and it will all write like this. You don't get images from Patreon. I use mostly Cricut images. You get uh, projects mostly, like cards and the flowers and the frames and boxes and things like that. Okay. Um, can you put the happy on top of it? Yeah. Let's arrange it to the top, to the front. And I, you know what, let's, let me take, take those stripes out. It's this one. There. Let's change this to something you can see. Make this a little smaller. Arrange it to the front. This would be here. You could put birthday on the bottom piece, and then you would have to attach it. So now that will write happy right on top of there. You can do the fonts pretty small if you have a fine tip pen. Yeah, contour should take away all the little marks you see. Okay, Disney images, great question, I'll do that. Um, and somebody asked about printing a word and I wanna get to that, but I'll do that one later. Let's exit out, search Disney. There's already a lot of Disney ones that are already, oh, already in writing. See, like that Tangled is writing. They have them in both writing and drawing, or <laughs> drawing and cut. See, like her? That's already drawn. We'll bring that in. Oh, she's too detailed. Let's go with that one. Okay, and then let's do this one. Uh, Dawn asks a question that I know many people ask. Is there a way to use a font that isn't writing and have it set to draw and fill in? No. You can turn any font to write and it'll write around it, kind of like a bubble letter, but you can't fill it in. And I'm not at the bottom of my chat. Okay. So this one is set to right, it's just one image. If you wanted to do different colors like I did before, you could contour, like say you want his eyes a different color, maybe his tongue a different color. And then duplicate, the reason to contour first and not duplicate, I just learned today in this video. And so you know, um, what you already did in the other video, or in the other image. This line. Right there. That little line, not this one. Okay. 
Okay, let's change the color of this one. <laughs> I gave them red eyes. See, so now you could um, change the color of the image and you would have to attach it. Otherwise they'll cut different separately. Okay, now if you wanted to take her. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. We're done with that. We can always come back and do it again if we need to. Say, I just want to draw her so I can make a coloring page. Can always just change it up here to right. Now see, here's the difference. It is kind of like a double line. And it's just the way the image is created. That's why a lot of the Dim Disney images, let's click on her and go to her cartridge. They're already set to write. So if you wanted to print out or draw out some um, coloring pages, I'm looking for the one I just did. If it's maybe it's not a coloring page. No, it's not print to cut. This is drawing. Oh, here she is. So here's the difference. They have it set this way. But when you take just like a regular image, it doesn't do that. Like you could do this one, love you more, change it to right. But you have to attach it to something, otherwise it's just gonna go move these so what I would do is take a shape if you're making a card or one maybe you want to stick this on the inside of a card somebody says how do you make it right on the inside of a card you have to either add another paper or let me arrange this to the back let's make that red and attach Um, do you use contour to remove, can you use contour to remove double lines? Great question. Let's try it. It's not letting, oh, because it's all grouped on group. Let's. The only double line is this. Oh, it's not really double lines. It's because of all this. Like, she doesn't need this in here. So I would contour, get rid of this one. That's not needed. Okay. Let's, I found a solution. You just have to play. Let's move her over here. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You can make this as detailed as you want. I'm going to attach these two. She's going to look a mess now. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is her cuff for... Does that go here? That goes here. 
Oh, and that's her earrings and necklace. I got it. Okay, now look at this one. This is going to cause the double lines. See how she has double lines for her, um, her arm? What we could do is contour, take her arm out. We don't need her arm. That's her dress. There. Oh wait, we don't need this bottom. Well, we do need that bottom part a little. So you just have to play with it and get it to be how you want it. I would contour this piece out. It takes time to do all this stuff. I enjoy doing this stuff. Some of you don't. <laughs> Show how to make a round edge on a rectangle. That is so easy. You go to images, you go to cartridges, you type in basic, you choose Craft Room Basic, Cricut Craft Room Basics. You choose one of these images. You take a rectangle. Now you can use the rounded ones if you prefer, but if you just want a slightly one, so you can totally use these rounded ones. These are all completely free for absolutely everybody. Insert image. I like to show the back piece, hide the top piece. And it's got just slightly rounded. Okay. You do not have to have access in order to use the free images for a week. That's the reason they're free for a week. Some of them are already in access. Um... Oh, Maude, that's a great question. How would you cut her out after she's written? Like you want to cut it out and write it? Let me show you. <laughs> okay. Um, you need her. You need this. You need the background totally change the color to white if you're going to color her and then attach all that okay she looks a little crazy attach all that and then it will cut around the edge and right on there that was a great question thank you for asking questions jennifer i design projects and never do them either I have more projects than you guys know. And I'm like, oh, I need to finish this and do a video on it. Okay. Um... Okay, is there an envelope image? Yeah, there are envelopes for five by seven. I'll have to find that in my projects. Okay. Yeah, so now this is a draw and cut. Thank you, Daniel, or Kyle from Daniel's Crafts. Uh, he does videos, too. If you guys click on him, you can subscribe to his channel. Um, what was I thinking? I was thinking something. While I'm thinking, oh, I was going to do the print. Uh, let me do this real fast, guys.
Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support my channel on Patreon. Debbie, Pam, Melinda, Susan, Sally, Adeline, Debbie, Doris, Tanya, Janice, Tracy, Shanna, Judy, Linda, Lisa, Liz, Kathy, Christy, Deborah, Trish, Tammy, Samantha, Jacqueline, Lisa, Sydney, Pat, Lois, Michelle, Nicole, Darlene, Iris, Kim, Marilyn, Stacy, Barbara, Stephanie, Stephanie, Tanya, Judy, Janice, Nicole, Alicia, Kathleen, Tammy, Maricela, Sandra, Kim, Blanca, Kimberly, Angie, Rhonda, Sherry, Diana, Robin, Pat, Carolyn, Darnice, Barbara, Patricia, Wendy, Megan, Lee, Sharon, Marcia, Letty, Rochelle, Amy, Paula, Susan, Irene, Dawn, Sherry, Laura, Phyllis, Angelica, Connie, Pamela, Deidre, Jerry, Sandy, Gina, Tracy, Carrie, Angela, Christina, Allison, Mary Ann, Katie, Chris, Wendy, Sally, Brittany, Julie, Mary, Crystal, Pamela, Brenda, Danielle, Susan, Carlene, Holly, Mary, Michelle, Julie, Courtney, Juanetta, Cheryl, Maud, Becky, Brandy, Arlene, Linda, Darlene, Michelle, Betty, Kathleen, Lisa, Tamika, Deborah, Ashley, Heather, Rhonda, Joan, Jen, Phoebe, and Rebecca. Thanks, guys. Okay. Somebody asked earlier, and this question uh, gets asked a lot. If I want to change this to print, okay, now it's going to print, but when I go to make it, it's going to print this, but it's going to cut out each letter. That's not what we want. Let's hit cancel. What we want to do is, there's always something we want to print it on. The only reason not to print it on something, if you just want this to print, is if you don't have this color of paper. Then, sure, print it. But let's say you wanted it to print on this. We're going to go to Arrange. I, I just showed the rounded quarters. If you go to that cartridge with the basic shapes, or not basic shapes, Cricut Craft Room Basics, the background of those rectangles have rounded corners or there were ones with really rounded corners. I'm going to move this to the back. Center it. Somebody wanted to show a line again. Here's my mouse up here. Oh, it's shaking there. Right here's a line. You can center. Select them both and flatten. This is one of the biggest problems with um, printing. So now when we hit make it, it's not gonna cut out each letter, it's only gonna cut out this box. And you don't have to just do that box, you can put it on anything. Let me find an image. See, this is where the rounded corner ones are. Let me just do this real fast. If you hide that top piece and get this bottom piece, this, let me make it bigger so you can see the rounded corners. See the difference in this one and this one? This one has rounded corners. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and choose one of these images, like this one. Okay. Let's unflatten. We're going to the bottom of the Layers panel, clicking Unflatten. So now they're separated again. Let's make this a little bigger. Make that smaller. Select them both and flatten. Oh, flatten is not an option. Why is flatten not an option? Is it because that one's not set to? Oh, there, now it is. It must not have been an option because I didn't have them both selected. I did not look in the layers panel to make sure they were both selected. Also, this one has a, let's go ahead and show that background. And flatten. Let If I were to attach these, happy would still cut out. Do not attach these. Let me attach them. It looks the same. It's going to look the same here. Well, it's too large, but the it will cut out the happy, and I know that's not what you want. So select them both. 
I hope not duplicate. And are they? How come I can't detach? Oh, I can. Okay, detach, then select them both and flatten. And I have them both selected and the flatten button isn't coming up. Now it is, I don't know. There, now it will cut around the cloud and not cut around the happy. Flatten is only used for print and cut. I have tons of videos on slicing. I have one live video all for slicing. Um, let's go to YouTube. Let me show you how to find my videos. YouTubed. <laughs> okay, YouTube. Let's go into somebody else's channel. Let's search Melody Lane. Here I am. Um, this video I'm doing Tuesday at 3 o'clock Eastern. Uh, for the Patreon supporters, I shared the file. They've actually had the file for a long time. And we're going to do it live together. Um, how to find my videos. You can click on videos. Um, you can also click the search and search. There might be a lot with slice. Yeah, there's some older ones and some newer ones. All these videos are about slice. Let me show you how to find. Now you should always sign into YouTube when you're using it. The Design Space Live Tutorials. Play all. If you watch these videos, this it'll play this one, then the next one, and the next one from the very beginning. They they do get a little better as they go, I think. Um, how many videos? There's 30 videos in here, so you cannot watch them all in one day. But um, you can choose which ones you want to watch. This one, live slicing multi-layer images, it's all about slicing. You can just scroll through and choose the one you want to learn. Um, and if you're signed into YouTube, it will tell you which videos you've watched. Let me see if it tells me. Thank you, Chan. She says Design Space has a slight learning curve, but the techniques Melody uses is on using Design Space is very helpful. Thank you. So glad I can help you. If you've watched it before, start watching a video, but you have to like stop, you have to go make dinner or you have to go to bed or something. When you go back to that video, it'll start where you left off if you're signed in. Does that help? Okay, are there questions that I did not go over? I'm sure there's things I forgot. But um, show your face. I'll show my face. There I am. Oh, look at my hair's a mess now. There's my face. Uh, where do you find the titles such as basic and cartridges? Is there index to look under? No. Um, like... I don't know. You can look on Cricut Design Cricut website. Kyle, thank you. I still love you too. Um there you can look through the cartridges on cricut.com. Let me go back. But like the basics ones not is not there. Um, you can go to cartridges and images. And over here, if you hold your mouse up, it'll give you like the holidays and events and cards and everyday license designs um, and fonts. 
that will kind of help you. If you have an idea, you want to make birthday stuff, all of these have birthday cards in them. And they have other things too, but, and there's only 12 here, but sometimes there's more. So sometimes you have to go to the next page. Yeah, and you can do a search in cartridges. That's what I did. Well, no, I didn't do a search in cartridges. But you can just click, like if I wanted to just search in this cartridge alone, I search tree, it'll show me the tree. This is completely free. All those images are completely free forever. Can you make an updated slicing to make a shirt in different colors of vinyl iron-on? I did do that in one of my, um, what's that called? I forgot what it's called. You guys know? The, when you slice an image out of, oh, it has the football image. Slice the image out of a shirt. Oh my gosh, you guys, my mind. I need some brain power oil. Is that not in here? Why is that in there twice? Oh yeah, and you can look at the hand knockout. That's what it's called. Uh, Yvette, you'll get an email from me with the five links to the five image posts with hundreds of images. There, you can always go back to all my Patreon posts till October of 2013 is how long I've been doing Patreon. Oh, twist and pop. Yeah, Sue shared the videos for that. Knockout. Yeah, knockout. You guys all know. I Maybe I don't have it in this list, and I'll have to add that. I might have missed it. I don't see it. Huh. I'll add it to this list. It's not here. It's on my channel, though. Go to videos. Oh, I could search it. Knock out. There it is. I need to add this to the list. I forgot this one. Are there any more questions? Does everyone know Design Space now? How to write? I feel like no. But what I wanted to show you today is you can take any image, oh, I still have tree in here, and change it to write. Or to draw. You have to click each layer, change it to right, and it changes it to black. Oh, this one's hidden. So this would be the piece that would cut, and then it would write on here, and you can change the letters. But when you change it, you still have to attach it. Oh, too large to print. We're not really printing. Why won't it? What do I have set to print? Oh, this.
see it's going to write it everywhere because they're not attached even though they're grouped so you have to select it all put a box around the whole image and attach there you go what was the heart image i don't think i have it here anymore i just got it from here uh, scrolling through these Valentine ones. There it is. Flip this over. It's called Banner Heart Love Struck 2010. A layer is, um, let's insert this one. Polly, thank you so much for coming and asking questions. Uh, a layer, you see over here, each one of these is a layer. See, these are different colors, and so that's a layer. They will cut out on separate mats, and this one also, every color is a different layer. As you see over here in the layers panel. So a layer are different, like if you're cutting this out with paper, it's going to print these out separately. Let's click make it. I love the printable vinyl. I use it to make stickers. You can't wash the printable vinyl. Okay, let's get to the different layers. So this is one, the bottom layer with the love because you would put everything on top of that. And there's one of the layers. So every color is just called a layer because if this cut out in paper or vinyl, you would put that on top of this layer. So a layer is the different colors of the images. Think of it as doing it with paper. You would put this one on top of this one on top of this one. And let me show you, you can, they come grouped when they're like this. So you can size them by hitting this little circle here. You can make them any size and all the layers size together. If we don't want them together, we can ungroup them. And then that's how we see the different layers. So we see the black one is on bottom and the red is on top. And this is on top of that. And if you size them when you don't have them all selected, it's not going to fit. So I'm going to undo and undo again. There. So now they fit together. See that? You don't even have to have the pink layer, but it's cute. And if you want to size them all together and they're ungrouped, you just select them all and size them and they will always fit on top of each other. I have lots of videos on making cards. Yes, you can always change the amount you put on, on Patreon. Click the three lines at the top right when you're on Patreon. Click on my pledges and then click edit. Okay, I'm looking at the comments. I'm not just sitting here in silence. Sorry, guys. Um, Ladybug says, to avoid overlayering, wouldn't it be best to slice? Only if you're using vinyl. If you're using paper, like the, the layering is awesome. We love to have the layers. Thank you, Ronald. Is there a waterproof printable vinyl? Not that I know of.
You cannot use any coupon code to buy access. You can use it with access. If you're buying anything else, my code stacks on top of the access discount. Uh, yeah, Jerry was saying, if you group them and hide these layers and size this one and then bring the layers, well, I'm be hiding that again. Bring the layers back. Oh, they're not the same size. But I thought they did work. Okay, trying to read your questions. How often do I go live? Every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. This Tuesday, I will be live at 3 p.m., and that's Eastern Times. Oh, you're right. Were they grouped? I, they weren't grouped. I just selected them. Let me undo. Bring them all back. Let me group them. That's what it was. Then hide these. Size this. There they are. It's because I didn't have them grouped. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Are there any more questions? Uh, there was a February mystery box, digital mystery box. There has not yet been a physical mystery box in February. I assume there's going to be one. I I don't have any information on it yet. Yeah, and it's still for sale. I could try to show you what's in it if I if they would put it into my account, but I I don't think I have it yet. Cause I'm looking for Nope. There's a sailor tattoo. I don't have it. <laughs> I was supposed to have it into my account within twenty four hours last week, but something happened, don't got it yet. Joan, Joy, I have to go get my hair done, too. Are there any more questions? Is there something I didn't go over? I know some people thought I was teaching how to draw your own, but more teaching how to, that you can draw with any image and change that. Yes, I have logged out and back in. Cricut has not informed me when they will release the knife blade, but uh, I, I think I know it's going to be soon. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I don't see any more questions. I'll be happy to answer a question. All right, guys, I will see you 
Tuesday or next Saturday. I hope you learned something. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks everyone. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for subscribing. I'm almost to 100,000 subscribers and I will be doing a giveaway um, probably soon. Maybe when I hit 95,000 or 98,000. All right, guys, you guys have an absolutely fabulous weekend. Love you all.